In this free sample of our Garmin 43530 Approach app, as in all of our products, we use real HD in-flight video and show you how to conduct approaches in actual real-life IFR. We keep simulation and animation to a minimum, so you can watch the video, take the quiz, then fly the real thing in the airplane. We don't use any fillers that waste your time, just what you need to do and how to do it. We've created two separate 45-minute Garmin apps, so visit our website at flighttrainingapps.com for more information. We are now going to demonstrate flying two approaches that have only lateral guidance, in other words, no glide slope. The first will be the Gillespie RNAV GPS-17, and the second will be the Oceanside VOR Alpha. One of the other great airports in the San Diego area is Gillespie Field, just east of Montgomery Field. We are approaching from the north and have requested the RNAV GPS-17 to SEE, which has only lateral navigation minimums expressed as LNAV MDA or minimum descent altitude. When we look at the profile section, we can see that there are three step downs before arriving at the minimum descent altitude after a 60, the intermediate fix. We have now been cleared to the intermediate fix a 60, which as we will see presents a situation where we have not been cleared to the initial approach fix. We will select SCE from the nearest group press direct enter enter then press the proc key and select the RNAV 17 approach then we are presented with only a choice of robin or vectors a 60 is not an initial approach fix and therefore it will not be listed as one of the choices when we load and activate this approach in this case we don't want either vectors or robin since we have been cleared direct to a 60. We simply select Robin, the initial approach fix, and press Enter. Then we can see all of the approach waypoints, scroll down to a 60, press Direct, Enter, Enter, to provide the desired track to a 60. We are not intercepting the leg from Robin to a 60, but simply flying direct to a 60 and beginning the approach from there. Later, we will discuss and show how to highlight and intercept a leg when this becomes necessary. From a 60, the intermediate fix to the final approach fix, Jugal, we are on the intermediate segment of the approach, which provides only a minimum of 500 feet obstacle protection. We are now approaching a 60, and the GPS will indicate when it is time to turn to a new desired track by counting down from 10 seconds, then indicating turn now. It does this for all approaches. Again, the technique is to align the airplane's track with the desired track with the CDI centered and use the heading bug to maintain the heading that we know is correct. On the Garmin 430, the main navigation screen will look like this, with the desired track, DTK, shown here, and the track, TRK, shown here. Also notice that on this approach, like many lateral-only GPS approaches, have LNAV plus V enunciated. This means the approach is a lateral-only approach. However, the V means that an advisory glide slope is provided, as we see here. However, the key word is advisory. If the glide slope were followed, the advisory glide slope is designed so that you would not go below any of the published minimum step-down altitudes. However, this is only true if the glide slope were followed precisely and you did not allow the aircraft to descend below it. The best way to fly the LNAV plus V approach is to treat the glide slope like it wasn't there 
and fly it as we would any step-down approach by simply descending to the next step-down altitude at a rate of approximately a thousand feet per minute. If we use this procedure, when we arrive at the last step-down altitude before the missed approach point, we will have time to look for the runway and decide if there is the required visibility to land. Here we are reducing power at the beginning of the last step down and finally arrive at the missed approach point of HIRAC, at which point we will begin our missed approach procedure. We see the GPS go into suspend here and because ATC directed us to follow vectors to our next approach, we will not fly the missed approach procedure. Thank you.